and welcome back to Adora Build. My name is Ruth and my little dog is called Pocky. And it's really fantastic for you guys to be joining me today to check out Queen Whatever's Build Box. This is a fantastic set. I actually ended up getting this on sale and I hadn't intended to get it originally because I thought that it was a little bit overpriced. But when I saw it on sale, I thought, why not? And I am really pleased that I ended up grabbing it. And here we have bag number one, and it does actually come with a teal brick separator. And what was really cool about this was because each of the five bags are designed to have separate fields, we then got five different instruction books, all with three separate fields in each book. And of course, we just use pieces from that particular bag but we don't end up using all of them. And obviously we have Queen Whatever's sort of face piece on the front there. So in bag number one, I'll be running through each of the three different builds. So the first one up is this little train guy, which is really cute. So now we're on to the second build, which is like a little butterfly character, which I thought was really cute. Again, we use the same printed face piece on this build as well. And so that ends up looking really cool too. And what I find quite nice about this build box is actually the color palette. So you guys do know that I like my bright colors. I particularly like my pinks and my purples. I was really pleased to get some more reds, oranges and yellows throughout this box as well. And then of course we also end up with bag number three, which we will be checking out later, which has a lot of blues in it as well. And so now we're on to the third official design for bag number one, which of course is Queen Whatever of Wanabi. And it is her sort of classic blob shape form. And it was also quite nice to be able to just go through and do some really simple and fun builds that aren't that complicated, but are also really fun to do. There are some cute little techniques in there as well. So we do have some snot techniques and those sorts of things as well. And then even having a little bit of fun with things like antenna. When I think that the Lego designers did try and make sure that each of these builds were a little bit special and a little bit unique. So now we move on to bag number two. And in this bag, we also have those three designs. So we get to have a little bit of a look at what we get to build through with these different ones. So the first design that we have here is like a little hammer. And the printed piece for this particular bag has like a more angry face on it. So a little bit angry, a little bit, you know, annoyed. And it's also a little bit cool that we have a range of emotions across the printed pieces that we receive. So the second build that we have here is a really cool one. So it's sort of like an exploding volcano. So we do start off with a sort of blob shaped mountain shape at the base. But then as we start to build it up, we add in some transparent pieces and also some orange pieces, which then sort of start to create this really fantastic look once we add in the big orange and yellow exploding cloud above. And I just thought that that was a really cool technique and in the photos, it looks fantastic to have those transparent pieces. And then the last little design that we have for this particular bag is like a little bit of a blobbish sort of shape again, but has those little devil horns and then also um, uses the crown piece as sort of like a staff as well, which I thought was kind of cool. So as always, you can sort of see that we get a range of different builds um, across not only each bag, but in between each bag as well. And there's also quite a wide variety of parts that we received too. So now we move on to bag number three, which of course has all these beautiful blues. It also has a handful of that sort of teal green color, which I thought was really nice as well. And then also a few pink pieces too. And this printed piece does have a bit more of a sad, concerned, worried expression, which I thought was kind of nice as well. 
And then we start to build up the second part of this build and you can see that we have placed jumper plates on top in order to get the angles right for the rest of this build. And so of course that first build was like a cello or a violin and now we're moving on to the second build which I'm sure that Robin Hull and Mrs H are going to enjoy as well since it is a gorgeous whale. Of course, the expression isn't really that fantastic for a whale, but I guess whales have reasons to be concerned in the world as well. And again, really cute little way to do the water spelt as well with the trans purple pieces and placing one of them on a 45 degree angle as well. So that was a really lovely build. I did actually quite enjoy the whale and quite um, quick to build that one as well. And now we move on to the final build for bag number three, which is this fantastic octopus creature. And what I will be doing is splitting this into two videos, otherwise it was going to end up being super long. So we will go through bag number four and bag number five and also check out the um, parts as well in the next video. Thank you so much for checking out my videos. I do really appreciate you guys supporting my channel. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. It really means a lot to start to build up the Adorabuild community and have you guys be able to check out my videos when they're first released. As always, take care of yourselves and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Bye-bye.